I worked in a downtown shelter called the Friendship Center. It was busy, it was cold. I'm trying to feed people. The beauty of writing in um, a group is that you get to listen to others. And some of the stories that hit the page, I wasn't prepared for. Um, someone else's truth can, you can sympathize or have compassion or empathy, all these things, but it's their truth. Hey, I'm Shelley Lepp. I'm the co-executive director of the Writers Collective of Canada. And I'm here to reflect on our partnership with Family Councils Ontario. FCO came to us at the start of the pandemic. Um, they're an organization who represents those whose loved ones are in long-term care homes. Headlines everywhere were about death in long-term care and um, how shut off they were from the world. And it was immensely scary. And so when we talked to Sam, Samantha Peck, the executive director at FCO, um, she was really excited to see what what something like a writing workshop could do. So writes Sam of their experience with the workshops. The expressive writing program is backed by evidence. So I didn't doubt that it would have an impact on the caregivers I work with. What I didn't expect was the degree of impact it would have on their lives. I found myself reaching into the caverns of my soul to unearth emotions I had suppressed because they didn't seem appropriate, said one participant. Each of the 13 reported that they not only enjoyed the experience, but also grew as people. Hi, my name is Camilla O'Shea and I work for Loft Community Services as part of the Transitional Age Youth Team. I co-facilitate the writing group with the WCC. Uh, the youth that participate are between the ages of 16 and 29. They often come from vulnerable backgrounds and have been impacted by significant stresses. The great thing about the group, I believe, is that it provides safe space for people to explore and reflect um, and be creative with that exploration. Uh, one of the things that I guess was surprising has been the amount of people that have got together outside of the group that have met through this group to go on to do other creative endeavors. Just a wonderful opportunity for reflection and healing in a very healthy way. My name's Doug Runsman and I'm a co-executive director along with Shelley Lenny. I want to talk about the Toronto Public Library. Libraries throughout the greater Toronto area. I've facilitated at a Toronto Public Library and we had provided for our writers during our time together an opportunity to rest, an opportunity to be respected, to feel protected, for them to feel courageous. Hi, my name is Nadine and I'm a part of Friends and Advocates Peel. We're an adult mental health organization that supports folks in our community that are experiencing social isolation. We have been working with the Writers Collective of Canada since 2020, and I'm so glad that we have four trained facilitators within our organization. Seeing people that are usually reserved and opening up and sharing their own stories have been so amazing. I'm Moses Wagenick. I participated in the uh, writers uh, group uh, at Progress Place. One of the unintended benefits of uh, participating in the writers group um, was the opportunity to find my own voice. Getting to write, like, uh, yeah, it's, it's like very cathartic for me because I get to pull my heart out. I started pursuing a uh, writing a novel. It gave me the confidence to go forward. We focus on the positives of the writing and that helps me a lot because as the current chair of the Mood Disorders Ottawa Board of Directors, it is my absolute pleasure to relay the positive impact that Writers Collective of Canada workshops have had on the mental health recovery journey of those who come to us for assistance. Participants explained, often people feel as though they are the only ones going through things. The honesty expressed through writings has importantly made people feel as though they are not alone. Hello, my name is Fred and I am a regular participant at Mood Disorders Ottawa's WCC chapter. During my time with MDO, the task has been to meet people where they are, to use Basil's, a WCC facilitator's, moving words. 
Active listening is one of the fundamental methods and axioms of the WCC, and I cherish this. Siobhan Lant, I'm the Director of Volunteers and Programs at the WCC. Street Haven, located in Toronto's downtown core, hosted its first series of in-person WCC workshops back in January of 2020, facilitated by Anna Lee Popham, West Wind Evening, Alejandra Adarve, and yours truly. Street Haven has provided both virtual and in-person workshops serving women experiencing homelessness or at the risk of homelessness. They support women to be creative and to escape from their reality for a short while. It has been rewarding to be able to provide this service for our clients and to see the women benefit from the opportunity to try something new.